Praise God. It's another week, another month that we have come to you, viewers. We bless the Lord for this day. Uh, our theme this month, we are looking at overcoming challenges uh, in our lives as Christians. And I will read in the book of Romans 8, verse 35. Uh, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or vermin or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all the day. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Praise the Lord. 
Uh, how can we overcome the challenges that we face in our lives today? Uh, my name is Akezia Keiru. I'm born again. I work at PCA Bahati with Children Ministry. Uh, we can overcome the challenges of our life by one, never compromise our faith. And as it is written in the book of Romans where we have read, at what shall then separate us from the love of God? Sometimes we face challenges in our lives that cause us to separate ourselves with the Lord. When you face challenges as a Christian, one thing that we should not do is to compromise your faith. And as you start with your faith, knowing that the God who is in you is greater than all the challenges that you face in your life. In the book of Luke 18, 27, the Bible says, what is impossible to men is possible to our God. So when we keep our faith in every challenge, God will help us to overcome it because he is able, omnipotent, and God who do great things than we think. Another thing that we need as Christians to overcome challenges is never to focus, focus on the problem, but the problem so far. Who is God? He has all the power. In the book of Romans, where we have led, Romans 8, 37, in all things we are more than conquerors through whom who loved us. And the one who loved us is the Lord himself. So when we focus more on the problem, we won't see the power of the Lord. So as Christian, we need never to focus on the problem. It doesn't matter how the mountain looks like, the problem, the challenges look like. Let us know that we have a God who serves, the Lord that we serve is God who is able. Another thing is to surrender ourselves in the will of God. Sometimes the will of God is so painful. But the book of Romans 8.28, it says, In all things God worketh for good of those who trust in him. So when you face challenges, let us put ourselves in the will of God. Knowing that sometimes the challenges come on our way to teach us, Others as a lesson to learn. Others as a step to go to the further position. So we surrender our life to the will of God. And we have many examples in the Bible for the, with the servants of God who surrendered themselves to the will of God. We have a, the Job, the book of Job. We read about Job who suffered, who faced many challenges, but he went through ate all and he conquered it and God paid him. So after we go, after we do the will of God in our challenges, God will help us and after all, we'll turn those challenges to a testimony. Uh, we also overcome challenges through other believers' testimony. Knowing that whatever we are passing through this day, it's not only us. Some has faced them. Some has faced those challenges and they have overcome. Through their testimony, we are able even us to conquer. Because the Bible says that there is nothing that we face which is new to others or which is our first. We, we are not the first people to face challenges. Some have faced challenges and they have conquered. In the, then we know that our God who serves in the book of Hebrews 13, 18, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if he did to those people, he can also do to you. We also overcome challenges with the key thing, prayer and reading the word of the Lord. Be anxious in the book of Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing, but through prayers and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. Give thanks to God in everything. Sometimes it's hard to give thanks when we are passing through challenges. But the Bible tells us to give thanks because in all things, God knows what we are facing. And all those challenges with God, everything is possible. So I'll urge you as Christian, those challenges is a must that we face them. But how we will face them will determine the next step that the Lord will take us. We bless our Lord this morning and we will continue with the same thing tomorrow, the same time, the same place, here, as we continue to know more about overcoming challenges. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you this morning for helping us, O oh Lord Almighty, to overcome the challenges that we face in life. 
Even at this time, Lord Almighty, we are facing many challenges, especially because of this coronavirus that we are facing. Some of us, Lord, our business are down. We don't have job. We don't even know about tomorrow. But the Bible has reminded us, oh Lord, that you are same yesterday, today, and forever. And whatever you did yesterday, Lord, you are able even to do today. We surrender our lives unto your will, O Jehovah, that in everything that we do, we do according to your will. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Let us see each other tomorrow. Thank you.